In this component of the video, what we're going to do is we're going to be using completing the square to find the general form of a circle. And here we see we have a, a beginnings to the circle equation where we have x squared and a y squared, right? And we have our x component and our y component as well. And we have the constant at the way far side of the problem. Now this is very similar to what you're doing when you're setting the completed square equal to the constant on the right hand side where we see the constant is already on the right hand side. So what we want to do here is first isolate our, our x terms and our y terms from each other so that we can complete the squares independently for each one while adding to this side of the equation and also adding to this side of the equation. So our first two terms we're going to isolate are x squared minus 2x's and our second set of terms we're going to isolate are the y squared plus 4y. And this is again equivalent to 31. Now, be very careful when you're doing this because the easiest way to do it is to work one out completely while showing the work for that one and then coming back and finishing the second one. This way you don't get too confused with your work, right? Or we can do both of them at the same time. Just try to stay focused on what's happening here. Now again, whenever we have a square term leading with no coefficient, this makes our life a lot easier and completing the square becomes very simple. So here the first step we're going to take is we're going to take the x squared, the negative 2x's, and we're going to take half of the middle term and we're adding half of the middle term squared to both sides of the equation. Now over here on the far right I'm going to have this 31 which I'm adding negative 2 squared, negative 2 divided by 2 squared. Actually, let me fix this up a little bit so that there's space for everything. This is our first portion of the completed square we're adding to both sides. As for the second one, we're going to get from the y term here. So again, there's no coefficient for the leading term. It's just a 1 making our lives very easy. Here we have 4 y's. And we're taking, we're going to have to add half of the middle term to both sides again. This is a positive 4, just for, uh, notary, like for notary purposes. We're going to leave that squared. We're adding that same term to this side, which is a positive 4 divided by 2 being squared. And now we have two completed squares. The functions of completing the square are already done. All we have to do is simplify this side, simplify the insides to make the completed square. But first, let's simplify these fractions and those over there. So here we have x squared minus 2x's plus negative 1 being squared and we like this version because when we're completing the square it makes this a lot easier for us to work out and also we never lose sight of the sign that we have here so here we have y squared plus 4 y's plus positive 2 being squared and in this side here we're just going to evaluate these sides so we have here negative 1 being squared plus a 2 being squared and that's a positive 2 again now to complete the square, we take this term and this term and we remove them from both sides. So we just get the x, we get the negative 1, and we square it. And that's the whole purpose of keeping the sign with this term so that this becomes easier here. And then here we have, take this y, we take this plus 2, we completed the square here. And now the only thing left to do is evaluate this side. So we have 31, negative 1 squared is just 1 positive 2 squared is just 4. And now we have the completed square on the left hand side here, x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 32 plus 4 is 36. And here we have our circle equation, right? And now this is done. Now the second component of this problem is asking us uh, write the equation in standard form, which we already see we have the standard form of the circle because the standard form equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the r value squared, right? And here we see that our center of the circle is the h and k value. Since h is also negative like this value is, we can just assume the h value is the constant value here of 1. The k value, as it's negative, and this one's positive, we know to make a, a negative number positive, this should be negative 2. And so the k value is negative 2. And our radius value is the square root of 36, which is just a 6. And so our center of the circle is 1, negative 2, with a radius of 
Just six. Thank you.